I'm going to discuss about one more very interesting question in this part and very interesting topic with respect to the to the spark performance also and that we call it as a broadcast variable let's try to understand what is this broadcast variable and where we can use it if you see the spark architecture like whenever you are submitting any application how the spark application runs so we have a spark driver program here and we have slave processes are there we know like spark always work in the master slave architecture okay now let's assume that these are all different different machines are there right these are all different different machines and on this machine your data has been partitioned different different partitions has been created now sometimes we are in a situation where obviously like we have some sort of data which cannot be get changed normally a static data will be there so we also call it as a reference data okay we also call it as a reference data now this reference data will never get changed let me take one example let's say you have a country code is there right so for india we have a country called ind and the full name is india let's say you have a list of country like usa so here it will be united state now we have thousands of records are there like this right so these records are splitted into the multiple node over here okay now what about this what about this india usa these are all your static data which is might be stored in some different variable now if i just define a variable oh if i just define a variable so i will just define a variable which is having ind india usa and some other countries country code will be there likewise now what happened whenever you need a key from here because your actual program gets executed over here whenever you need a key so this is a key actually for you and what will be the value for india if ind is your key then value will be india so whenever you need a key on this slave node every time you need to go to the driver program get the key and corresponding corresponding your india ind for india that is value you will get it from here so every time you need to go to the driver program which is again a costly operation and this will makes your performance of your spark low down because a lot of io it will get consumed and serialization and deserialization because these programs are running on different different nodes okay so what you can do in order to remove this serialization deserialization io you can copy this variable data so all this key what we will do we will copy it here on the slow node only here only we will copy it so here you can see mmm all this variable we have copied it and this type of variable which has been copied to the slave worker node we called it as a broadcast variable so since every node is having the copy here also it is having copy here also it is having copy here also it is having copy the executor or the processes does not need to go to the driver program collect the keys it doesn't need to do because all of your information is available here only okay so whenever executor or whenever the task is performing getting executed over here now the key is getting available over the slave worker node only so io will get reduced obviously now this is all about the broadcast variable because it is really helping to increase the performance let's try to see these things practically so i have a program here okay i have a program what this program is doing i have a list i have one dictionary which is having the country code and their country like ak for alaska al for alabama so we have a key value pair basically we called it as a dictionary okay now let's assume that this variable obviously it's a variable okay kind of variable only i am just making it as a broadcast variable and store the information into the broad variable okay because i need to use this key if i am not using this broadcast variable what will happen all this key will get stored on the driver program and from driver it will travel to the your slave node okay now since i am making it a driver since i am making it as a broadcast variable the copy has been created it 
the copy of this data has been created on all this new node as I said over here so copy has been created over here 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 okay now what I'm going to do I'm giving a key as an input and I want the output I'm giving a key and I'm getting see here when I'm, I'm just registering this uh, function okay for that I have used this UDF because we cannot give a list as a key okay that is why we need to register it okay so what I'm doing here I'm creating a one column called broad underscore country okay I'm calling I'm creating a new column broad underscore country and the value of this broad underscore country will be coming from this UDF test UDF which will go here and so I'm passing this United States code actually this is one column okay this is one column which is having all the keys all the keys means your country keys will be there and it will give me the resultant data let me try to run it I'll show you how exactly it is looking so I have load one CSV file okay this CSV file already have the column called US state code so if I just show you here you can see there is a column called US stored code okay so previously the data now you can see here that I have created a new column called a broad underscore country okay and according to the key I got the name over here okay I got the name over here so this is how this is how you can you know do the things all right so for Alaska because I'm passing it as AK okay I'm passing a AK for AK the broad underscore country is Alaska for AL that is Alabama so according to the USA state code I got the country okay so this key I have mentioned it into the this key I have mentioned it as a broadcast variable which has been copied it to the multiple slave node okay I hope this is clear if you are looking for spark training let me know guys thank you so much please do like subscribe and share this channel